In this video, I'm going to address a question that I have received in the comment section. So the question is how to find the customers who have placed order in every year. So we need to tag a customer who have placed order in the every year. Okay, for that I'm going to connect to sample superstore data source and then click open. So drag orders table, and then go to new sheet. Let's analyze the data first to see how many years of data we have and uh, the uh, customers who have placed order in every year. So drag customer name to the rows and drag order date to the columns and drag order ID to the text and choose uh, count distinct so that we can find the number of orders they have placed. So for example here uh, Aaron Bergman has placed orders in the year 2019 and 2021. So this customer has not placed in every year. So we have the data from 2019 to 2022 whereas uh, Aaron Hawkins has placed order in every year. So we are going to identify such customers who has placed order in every year. So for that uh, we need to write a calculation that gives the number of years of data we have in our data source. So create a new calculated field. I'm going to name the calculation as max of years. So I'm going to write a load calculation. So count D year of order date. Okay. And then click OK. Let's see the output of this calculation. Go to the new sheet. Customer name and drag this calculation. See this calculation returns four to each record because we have four years of data in our data source okay next we will write calculation that gives uh, the uh, count of years the customers has placed an order so create new calculated field So here again we are going to use LOD calculation. So fix customer name or customer ID comma year of order date. So we need to fix the calculation at customer level and uh, year level. So customer name comma year of order date and then minimum of order ID. So on top of this one we are going to get we need to get the count so count distinct and then click OK so if we go to new sheet let's see the output of this calculation so this calculation is returning 2 for around Bergman so let's see the let's find out uh, what's the reason here so if we go to sheet 4 here so the customer has placed total orders 3 but he has placed in uh, 2 years 2019 and 2021 so we have the output 2 whereas Aaron Hawkins has placed 4 uh, years so 2019 20 21 22 has placed uh, 4 years so we have output 4 similarly Aron Smelling has placed orders 3 years, okay, 2019, 2021, 2022. So our calculation returning 3, so which is expected. So let me explain you this calculation. 
so before we proceeding to write a boolean calculation so edit so what it is doing is we are fixing our calculation at the customer level and year level for example for details i will add uh, customer name and order year of order date okay so now we are finding minimum of order id for example if we place order id um, we are taking measure minimum of order id okay we are taking any one order id and on top of that we are counting okay we are fixing this calculation at this level customer name and year of order date so if i write count distinct here so this will not allow because minimum we have already written minimum of order id and then on top of that we are going to write count distinct so that's why we are using fixed lod calculation to get the count like this okay so this one is minimum of order id and we are fixing at this level so this level whereas customer name year of order date and then we are finding the count so you can easily say so this calculation for this customer returns 2 2 and for Aaron Hawkins it returns 4 okay so that's how this calculation work so when these two calculations are equal let's say create calculated field customer placed order every year so if um, hash of orders in this calculation is equal to maximum of years present in our data source so this one we have counted the aggregate function for this one we don't have so we can write something Min. just I'm adding a aggregate function so that we can equate these two calculations and then click OK so let me drag customer name and drag this boolean calculation yes. so this calculation returns false who has placed the order who has not placed order in all the years and it returns true if the customer has placed order every year for example Aaron Hawkins true which is correct if you go to data so this customer Aaron Hawkins placed order in every year Shami has placed order for two years 2021-2022 so it should return our calculation should return false so Adam Sami has written false. Okay, so that's how this calculation works. I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Also, please do let me know if you have any questions in the question in the comment section. I will do answerable questions. Thank you for watching.